this work is a work in progress. Actually, we are working in an education and innovation project and using visual learning analytics to support competence-based learning. But in this presentation, I'm not speaking so much about the paper itself, but the roadmap we have following our research to get to this point. So our research start when working on intelligent tutoring systems. Most of you have heard of them. This is the kind of systems that are aimed at uh, guiding and adapting the teaching and to the student, adapting to his or her learning performance, and even providing feedback and recommendation. In this way, uh, when working on intelligent tutoring systems, we have to deal, to deal with the uh, domain to learn, not only defining the topics that uh, students have to master, but also the skills, uh, the instructional objectives we were expecting to, them to achieve. Uh, we also have to define the pedagogical strategies the tutor system has going, is going to apply in order to adapt the student and the main factor here is the student model. We need somehow to have the information about what the student has learned, what are the problems and so on. And to this end, the assessment is crucial. We need to obtain information mainly from the assessments in order to be able to identify uh, which are the strengths and the weaknesses of the students in, the, in order to adapt. Oops, sorry. So in the last few years we have uh, moved a little bit and we are trying to apply to implement our um, learning lessons in order to improve education in computer engineering. We have been working different uh, educational innovation projects. We start, we have made some spare efforts in trying to improve final year project development with both with the students, teachers, and identified which were the main problems. They were really concerned about <coughs> the lack of a criteria to evaluate or assess the works and so on. And we are also now based working on the improvement of some models of the computer engineering. So. When uh, speaking of the improvement of the final year projects, we made some questions to the students and they were really concerned. Our grade depends mainly on who are the evaluation board and we don't know which are the criteria for our assessment. So we find several uh, aspects and they, uh, the students should work and define rubrics and even identify the ideal ways for each criteria to be assessed. When we um, well, tested, uh, make some statements uh, asking the um, evaluation board to assess the student using just a grade and using the rubrics they didn't align well. So we use some machine learning techniques in order to adjust the weights and identify which were real the aspects the evaluators were considering. We have been also working with visual learning analytics to monitor the writers because we, are, we consider that some teachers tend to give really high scores, other ones tend to be really, really uh, harsh and there might be some difference even when evaluating our own students' work or other students' work. And nowadays we are just, sorry, again, moving just for the trying to work moving fast uh, using some visual learning analytics to provide information for both teachers and students and the important uh, point in our work, sorry, is that we don't want to move from a fragmented continuous evaluation to a real formative assessment evaluation. We want to model, to be able to infer how much a student, how a student masters a topic and provide information on it, but not using just averages and so on. To this end, we are using a Bayesian knowledge tracing uh, model which allows us to compute 
the students' knowledge levels on the topics or even in the competences.